bug out moto hey folks if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van click below to watch now or click on the link in the description section the hell you looking at man Okay guys, getting ready to eat breakfast. I'm in the parking lot of a Cracker Barrel here. Just gonna eat some breakfast before I roll. Got a little old school TV on here. Getting ready to put on some uh, some pancakes and eggs. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring a spatula, so I'm gonna have to try to use this knife here to flip the pancakes. Luckily for me, I have a nonstick pan there. It should be uh, pretty easy to flip the pancakes, so hopefully. Okay, got the canister of butane in there. Lock it into place. Click it. Bam. Okay. Let's put some put a pancake on there. All right. Damn, I wish I had a spatula. This requires great skill. Oh shit, it's melted the uh, thing in there, man. I got plastic in my food now. I'll be damned. Okay, I was able to flip it. I had to cut the camera off and use my other hand. Yeah, boy. Ah, look at that. That gray B syrup, that good stuff. Ah, oh, look at that, it's good. Like ancient mama's maple syrup, gray B, baby. Organic. It's good shit, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that good. Mmm. 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 Ah. Tell you, guy. My pancakes don't come out right, I don't have a good day. These pancakes came out right. I'm gonna have a good day today. Cruising in the uh, very boring stretch of uh, highway, or should I say interstate, in Nebraska. This is like my least favorite stretch to, to drive on. <laughs> Just miles and miles of nothing no offense to my Nebraskan fans out there I'm sure uh, it's got its great great aspects just like Ohio has but anyways yeah you know last night I probably shouldn't have parked at that uh, that motel I shouldn't have should I say uh, because I didn't follow my rules. My rules are that I, I park in, in only in major hotel, excuse me, a, a major hotel that has a lot of cars in the parking lot. And I thought for some reason I could just slide by at that motel that I showed you guys in the video. And um, you know, everything was fine until I went to wash up. And I always put my TV on with the cameras so that I can see what's going on there before I turn on the, uh, the water pump. Because, you know, you can hear the water pumps kind of loud. Not real loud from the exterior, but it does make a noise. And if there's no cars hardly in the parking lot and somebody comes out there, they can probably spot it. They'll be suspicious to them. And they may think that maybe my van is like a rolling meth lab or something. <laughs> but anyways, I, I thought the coast was clear. I mean... It, and then I went to go wash my face. And then I turn, turn around and I see somebody out there smoking a cigarette. Probably the worker, front desk worker, was out there in the back door looking at my van, smoking a cigarette, walking around it, like walking in front of it. And, and uh, I, I knew I got busted at that point. And uh, he went back in and left the door open. So I just... I, I could guarantee you he probably possibly went and called the cops or he first he probably went to the desk to make sure to check the register of uh, license plates uh, to see if that's a registered license plate for a, uh, a guest staying there and then if he doesn't see that's it 
then he's probably gonna call the cops. So as soon as he went in, man, I jumped from the back into the front seat and hauled ass out of there. And I went to another, uh, this, I went to a major hotel chain, uh, should I say a major hotel that had a lot of cars in the parking lot, slipped in without incident, had no problems. The only thing, mistake I made is I parked close to the building instead, far, instead of farther out and it shaded my uh, solar panel. So I was kind of low on power on, on the, the two main batteries, not too low. Uh, it, it didn't hit halfway, but it hit pretty low. But yeah, so, um, you know, I really have to be careful of where I park at. I, I know a lot of you guys say, why don't you go to Walmart? You know, they a lot of them allow RVers to stay overnight in the parking lot. You, if you contact the manager and, and ask, is it okay? But I'll tell you guys, I did that one time in Colorado, and I didn't like it. I just didn't feel comfortable. Uh, cars kept coming up and parking next to me, and... Um, some shady characters and and they were blasting their music system it was like three o'clock in the morning i'm like what the fuck are these and i couldn't believe that people are still like have the booming systems you know the big like 12 inch woofers and blasting music and so you can hear bass all up down the fucking street i thought that shit got played out like in the 90s and early 2000s i did that shit but man i in in ohio you very rarely do you hear people when they do do that anymore in colorado Springs, like everybody was had a booming system. Now I'm like, what? Felt like I was in the '90s again. I'm like, what the fuck, man? But I couldn't get any rest, and I just and it was some shady characters over there. You know, ever since I left Colorado Springs, and they they legalized weed, which, mind you, I'm not. It's not that I'm against the legalization of marijuana. I just believe that it should be legal in all states or none at all. Because when you have a few select states that make it legal for recreational use, it brings a lot of bad elements. And people still sell it on the black market in these legal states. Hey guys, gotta get me some water. Refill my backup water container because I filled up my other main container of water. So I'll just get the hose. Let's go ahead and fill up. They must have saw my, my video. <laughs> oh well, I have to get it. I have to get it at the supermarket if I have to. Damn, this is Rig City, man. Look at this. Damn, boy. Rigs all the way down the road. See if we can't slip in from the back. Is there a parking spot here? Yeah, buddy, right here. We gonna park right here, buddy. All right, this looks like this is gonna be it. For the first time, now one channel found out here in Nebraska on the out. Now the chicken is cooked. Go ahead and put the vegetables. I use bird's eye, um, broccoli stir fry. And then Some, uh, I put some extra virgin olive oil. This is cold pressed, 100% Italian olives. Yeah, buddy, mix that up. And put the top on and let it simmer. Look at that, boy, it's coming along real nice. And now all I do is I add some pepper. I just put some. Damn, put a little too much, but that should be all right. Look at that. Look good. Ah, look how it just slides off the griddle like that. Look at that. Uh, turn down the uh, light here, my dimmer switch. Turn it down. Sit back, eat my dinner, and watch a movie. Then I'll edit some of my uh, video later, and I'll put the video up for you guys to see tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser. And also like me at Facebook. Catch you guys later.